Hello, this is Hans van der Kwast, Senior Lecturer at IG Delft Institute for Water Education. In a previous video, I've demonstrated how to calculate the volume in a DEM that is below a certain elevation level. Now, this is also very useful to make the stage volume curve. And when you have a stage volume curve in practice, you can use it, for example, when you have the water level of a lake. And if you have the bathymetry, then you can uh, determine the volume that corresponds with different measured water levels. In this video, I'm going to show a little PyQGIS script that I made to uh, iterate over the tool that I used in the previous video, the raster surface volume tool. Um, I'm going to explain how it works. So there are a few steps we need to do. I need to read the DEM. Then I need to determine the minimum and the maximum value of the DEM and calculate the range, the difference between the minimum and maximum. Then I want to have those points for the stage uh, with 10% increments from the, the bottom of the, the pit. And um, then for those values, I want to know the volume. I also need to do some unit conversions because the tool reports the volumes in cubic meters and uh, it's often more appropriate to do it in cubic kilometers and also the volumes are reported in negative values so we need to convert it to the absolute value and then in the end I want a table that I can uh, visualize the results in uh, in the data plotly plugin so here I uh, define the path of the project where I have my DM file and where I want my outputs to be stored here I give the DM raster file. It's the only file here in this folder. And uh, here I open the DM. So input raster DM, the name of the layer that will be visualized. And I use GDAL because it's a GDAL format. Next, I want to calculate the statistics. And there's this function. Uh, band statistics and it only has one band so it's number one and uh, use this data provider under the DEM. Then I use this stats.minimum value to calculate the, the minimum value in the DEM and stats.maximum value for the maximum. I want to give the user some feedback so I print those values to the screen and here I calculate the range I also print the range to the screen. I determine the 10% uh, increment by uh, dividing the range uh, by 10. And I also print an increment of the stage points to the screen. I make an empty list. I need that to, uh, to store uh, the tables for the different uh, stage values and then later merge them into one table. So for level in the range minimum to maximum plus one because in uh, python uh, the range uh, does not include the maximum value here i wanted to include so i add uh, one meter to it and here i use the increment note that this is not range but f range that's because in python you cannot have uh, floating point ranges and therefore this is a function here where we have the F range with the starting value, the stop value, and the step value that are also uh, defined here as the minimum, the maximum plus one, and the increment. Then I define the name of the out table. And because the stage is in meters it has decimals but i don't want an extra dot in the file name and, and i want still to have a recognizable file name so it's project path and then the file name is volume plus the level times 100 so basically in centimeters round it off and convert it to a string and uh, i also need it as a dbf and then this is basically the core of the function you can get this from the history. So everything that you do in the processing toolbox is stored here in the history. And if I want to do the surface, what's the surface volume tool? 
and uh, let's use the DEM and you can use here any level that's not the point now and we use the count only below base level and the surface volume report uh, we keep that to temporary file and the surface volume table we say uh, save to file then uh, when i run it it gives this error like it did also uh, previously um, but now in the processing toolbox if i go to the history i have this function if you look at this closer then you see that uh, it's a dictionary where uh, the dialog fields are here first and then this is um, the files and the parameters that you define and that means if we use this in a python script that we can uh, use those parameters as uh, variables so let's have a look here it runs that function the input is the dm layer that we defined uh, up we keep band number one level is then the level from the loop for level in the range method uh, one which is uh, calculate the volume below the level then the html file we don't need it so we keep it uh, what it was and the table it uh, needs a shape file although it will output a dbf therefore you get that error uh, when you use it from the the processing toolbox but here i uh, i define the shape file that we want to uh, to create so here i read the table that is the output of the processing tool and then this table only has one feature which has uh, the volume of a certain stage. So to get that, um, I'm going to read the volume from the table and convert it to cubic kilometers. So this is the field name and the value from that field name is divided by this amount to get it in cubic kilometers but since it's negative I also want the absolute value so I use the apps function then I'm going to uh, load the dbf table again because I want to add two attributes I want to add the attribute of the level and of the volume in cubic kilometers to the table so here update fields starting the editing and then here for f in the table get features so for level fill in the value of the stage of the level and for the volume in cubic kilometers fill in the variable volume kilometers that we've calculated over there then update the feature and then commit the changes so basically we uh, have this uh, empty list and we use the append to add each time the file name of the dbf that comes out here to the list so in the next step outside of the loop in the end we can uh, simply merge these vector layers so i used their this function merge vector layers and i created that uh, processing tool so you can simply copy it like it, i did that before and you only need to define then the the path and the output file name and here i load the output dbase file and then I add it to the layers list and that's basically the result and then I'm going to use the data plotly plugin to create the graph so let's run it 
it's quite quick. So this is the DEM. Uh, it's loaded and then we have here the table stage volume. If I open the attribute table, you can see the values. By the way, here it reported the minimum and the maximum value of the DEM, the elevation difference and the increment value that's used uh, for uh, the stage for the different levels. So here we see those levels with that increment. And uh, here we see the volume, the absolute volume in cubic kilometer calculated. It also gives us the layer names and the paths. You can still find those files uh, in the folder that's, uh, that's added. Here you have it. And then uh, we are basically ready to uh, create our data plotly uh, graph. Data plotly panel we define for the X field uh, the volume in cubic meters and for the Y field the stage, the level. And uh, here we see the graph. Uh, it's nicer to have it uh, with a line connected, so I use points and lines. And let's give it a title. Stage volume. The legend doesn't need a title. And then we change the X label to volume in cubic kilometers and the level in meters. And there's the final result. So in this uh, video, you've seen how to create uh, a stage volume curve using PyQGIS and processing tools that you could uh, embed in the scripts. If you like uh, these videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and for more free GIS materials, go to IHE Delft OpenCourseWare at gisopencourseware.org.